things like driverless vehicles. And that's where Huawei is one of the leading vendors and, and innovators within 5G technology. 5G, you might well have heard about. I guess you're all familiar with 2G, 3G, and we all have wonderful 4G across most of the UE. And 5G is coming next. And in fact, Huawei at Jitex last year demonstrated with Etisola 5G in terms of remote operations and what it can do for us. Below that is uh, what we term as the medium space. This is a lot of things that we can do today. And Dilip talked about um, a lot of connectivity. That's what's happening today. And outside on our booth, you'll see a lot of this also in terms of um, providing connectivity using existing technologies. And this is everything from telematics, and you'll see the onboard diagnostics chip outside for vehicle tracking, all the way through to uh, smart metering and so on. Using existing technologies of 2, 3, and 4G. Below that, there is an untapped market, really, of low power wide area, of connecting more things. But it's a bit like oil. If we think about data as oil, there's some oil that you can get to easily and it's cost effective, and there's some oil, like shale oil maybe, requires a new way of approaching it. And it needs to be cost effective to do it. And this is what we term as the low power wide area space. And again, Huawei is one of the leading companies in, in this area and working on a standards based approach for low power wide area. In fact, there's uh, uh, some very recent work with both Qualcomm, which you may be familiar with, the chip manufacturer, and other major telco uh, communications, wireless communications suppliers who are working on standards-based approaches to addressing this market. And that is fundamentally important to be able to allow innovation in this space. And what's holding it back is for sensor manufacturers to know which standard to build on. It's not cheap to do that. So once that's established, that here's a standards-based open way of doing it, then we believe that this whole market will flourish. And people will talk about 30 billion, 50 billion, 100 billion connected devices. They're all projections. 